Josh Grisonic then just before the meeting. Bit different tonight, six man teams. Looking forward to that? I've, uh, I can't say I've ever ridden in a format like we are tonight, so it'll be an interesting one, that's for sure. And I think Midlow was saying our gates already picked for us, so um, that'll be a little bit different as well. <laughs> Not used to the coin tossing or anything like that, but um, yeah, it should be good. You know, we need to bounce back after last week, so. You know, Midlow said if there's anything we want to try tonight, give it a go. And obviously a win is important, even though we're not in the league. It's, it's still important for us as a team. So, yeah, I think it should be good. Now, I think even though the results haven't gone the way we'd have liked them to have gone, the camp is really pulling together, aren't they? There is a good feeling within this camp. Yeah, that's right. You know, we're, we're all pretty, well, we, we weren't happy with the result at Wolves on Monday. But, you know, a few of us boys haven't been there for a while. And I, I think, you know, I, I had one of my better meetings there as well. And... Um, everyone's still pretty, you know, pretty chilled and, you know, happy in the camp. There's no, no, uh, like, no sort of uncertainty or whatever. So, you know, it's good. It's good. We've still got that sort of good bond going. And, um, yeah, we just need to get the meetings under our belt. A lot of us have been riding, but, you know, there's no, you can practice and practice, but it's nothing like racing. And now we've got a good break in the weather. It's, we should get the meetings under our belt and we should be going hopefully full, full tongue. That's a little bit windy out there tonight. That's not going to affect you in any way on track? No, I don't think so. There's a there's a fair bit of water down there, so it should be uh, it should help dry the track out a little bit, to be honest. But um, Glenn's put some new a lot of a lot more dirt down today because it was pretty slick last week, and a few of us we just talked as a as a team we weren't happy with that. So Glenn's listened and took that advice on and, and made the track a, a bit better today. So hopefully there'll be a good good outside line there for us to use, and um, yeah, it should be good. Now, for those fans that don't know, obviously you're here for Paul, but outside of Paul commitments, uh, you're on the continent racing this year? Yeah, I've, I pretty much go to Poland four days a week and practice and race Sundays. So, yeah, I live out of a backpack pretty much for the last month. But, uh, yeah, it, you know, it's, that's what we're here to do and we want to we wanna race and we, wanna, we need to go and practice and practice is important. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, we, we sort of, once the season starts, we're all keen and ready to go. But, um. Yeah, I've only got here in Pol here in Poland at the moment, so yeah, it's it's keeping me busy with being over there for four days a week and and back here for the three, so it's good. Before you go, you've just been out on the track uh, with all the all the team. How's it looking? Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Like I said just before, Glenn's put a lot more dirt down, and, and uh, you know that we requested a bit more dirt than last week, so hopefully that'll be good because it's the first meeting we seem to do all right, and then it was a little bit slicker last week, which. We all sort of want that dirt on the outside. I know Kilderman, except like aside, he was he was good good last week, but you know the rest of us didn't really have a good one. So we need to make that right this week. All right, well, uh, have a great night. Stay safe, ride fast. We'll catch you later. Yeah, no worries, thank you.